I wanna share with you the theme that I think is the best theme on the market right now. And it actually puts a lot of the paid themes to shame, even though this is completely free. Now, before I share the name of the theme and exactly how to get it, I wanna share with you the criteria that I think a theme must have if you even wanna consider using it, whether it's a free theme or a paid theme. But keep in mind, this is gonna be a completely free theme. So let's go ahead and take a look at that criteria right now. The first thing that must be there is an advanced header and footer builder so that you can get the header and the footer of your website looking exactly how you want with all the options that you would want. So you're no longer limited to just a few layouts that the theme wants to give you. You'll have ultimate flexibility to have exactly what you want. So here I am on this theme and I'm gonna click on header and this takes us into the header builder and it is advanced. You have three rows, a top row, a main row and a bottom row. And you could see right now I'm using the main row and I'm using the bottom row. And over to the left here, these are elements that I can drag and drop and use wherever I want. Now each of these rows have three columns. So right now you can see I have the logo right here and then I have my navigation and my search. Now if I want to change anything, I can just click on it and I can just drag and drop it where I want. There I just move the search right there. I can do this with any of these elements that I've added to this header. I can change the colors, I can put images in the background. I have full control. And so this I think is essential for the usability of your website. Now. Now, this theme also happens to have a transparent header for free. Come on, this is 2020. That should just be a free option and so many themes don't even include that as a free option. Uh, but it goes even further than that because you get mobile responsive options and it's one of the most important things is having a really solid and tight mobile header. So if I go into mobile view here inside of the customizer, I have full control over it. I can change the icon. I can change the layout. You can see here I have a logo and then I have a trigger that's going to reveal the menu, but you can change how you want this to be. So if I say wanted on a mobile device, this logo to be in the middle, and then maybe I might want the search toggle over here on the left, you could see with just a few drag and drop like that, I was able to accomplish that. Now, obviously right here, the logo is a little big, so I can click on the click wheel and I can reduce the size of the logo to be something like that. And I can also change the height of this area right here. So if I wanted to click right here for the main row, there's the height, I can tighten it up like that. Now, all of this is in a free theme you can do this and you can have control over this. It's very easy to use. And I think a header and footer builder like this is an absolutely essential feature for a theme, whether a free theme or a pro paid theme. And this happens to be a free theme. You also have full control over customizing it for a tablet device. The next essential feature, and this is the only theme that I've ever come across that has this, is globally linked colors. So if I go into the general and then I click here where it says colors, this theme has these global set colors. So essentially what this is, is your theme will have you set colors in so many different locations. So you're setting specific colors for buttons, uh, different types of buttons, for different fonts, for overlays, there's all these places where you assign colors. And I can't tell you how many times I've used a theme and I'm using the same green in like 15 different places. And then if I ever wanna change that shade of green, you know what, I've gotta go in there and I've gotta change it in 15 different places. And it's completely unnecessary and tedious. This theme has a globally linked color palette. So the first thing you do is you have this row of colors here and you can click on each color and set what it is. You could put a hex code or an RGB value, whatever you prefer. And you can also set a transparency so that you can have areas where you would have a transparent overlay. You can link it to this global color palette for when you wanna change it in the future. So with this theme, you select your global colors right here here. And then when you're just going throughout the theme and configuring colors, 
you will link it to one of these colors in the global color palette. So for example, the site background, I click right here, it happens to be linked to this color in the global color palette. So once I change that color, everywhere that it's linked is automatically going to change. So here's the site background, content links, buttons, everywhere you have these colors, you'll instead choose to link it to the global color palette, which makes so much more sense and is a lot more efficient to use when you're configuring your website. It's huge and this theme happens to have it. Next, you want to have a variety of modern and elegant blog post styles that can be applied to blog posts or any unique type of content on your website. So these would be the different custom post types you might have. So here I am on a blog post and uh, what I'm going to do is go into where I can configure this. So I'm going to click on blog posts and single post layout. So first option, I can choose to show or hide my title. I can show how the title is shown. So right here, it is above the content, but I can just click a button here and it integrates it in the content like that. I happen to prefer this, but it has the flexibility so you can choose exactly how you want it to look. Uh, you can choose your container width, the alignment of the title. I have it centered here, but if I wanted everything on the left, I could easily do that just like that. You can choose the height of this container and you also can control all of this based on device. So you can easily make it fit and look perfect on a mobile device. Then we have the option to control the different elements that you would have here. So for example, if I wanna show the breadcrumbs, I can click like that and now I have the breadcrumbs crumbs right there. And I can also decide where I want those breadcrumbs to show. If I wanted them to show on the bottom, I can just drag that down. And now I have those breadcrumbs on the bottom. For the metadata, I can expand this and bloggers are gonna love this. You have the option to show the last updated date versus the published date, which is it makes so much more sense to show the last updated date. And you can toggle what pieces of metadata that you wanna show and which ones that you want to hide. It's very easy to do that with these toggle switches right here or you can just hide it by clicking on the eye and now that meta information is not going to even show. You have control over all of this. So let me expand that. And then you have the post layout. So I'm using this boxed narrow layout. And if I want a much wider layout, I could just go like that and I have this wider layout. Let me go back because that's the one that I prefer. Now I can also choose to use a show a sidebar if I want. So I can choose this option. It's gonna move the post content off to the left and show me a sidebar. But I like the elegance that you find right here in this narrow layout. We also have different content style. I'm using boxed, but I can click on this and it's no longer boxed. It's just part of the page. I have all the flexibility of the different parts of a post so I can show my featured image and I don't have a good featured image right here, but I can do different layouts with this. I can make it behind. It's gonna pull the content up over it and make it wider. This would be great if you have a really nice featured image, something that I don't. Um, I can also make it below. This would actually put it inside the content like this. Uh, or above, you can do all these different things, including controlling the size of it. But I can also make this featured image be part of the title area if I chose to, and I can make this whole thing transparent if I chose to. So I don't think it fits what I'm doing right here, and this is the elegant layout that I prefer to have. So you're gonna want a theme that has elegant blog post layouts and included for free. I mean, this is 2020. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to have the flexibility that we want in the customizer to make our blog look how we want it to look and get that elegance out of it. Next, you should also have those same options for pages. So when I click on page layout right here, I have pretty much all those same options right here. In fact, if I have LearnDash installed or WooCommerce installed or any plugin that adds some kind of a custom 
type of information or a custom post type, you can configure all those options I just showed you on a post type by post type basis. No need for a page builder to make it look good or a theme builder or anything. It's all just built inside of this free theme. Not only can you set those settings on a global basis, but you also can set them on a page by page basis. So if there's an individual page that you want a transparent header on, well, you can do that. The same thing goes for posts, or if you want a different page or post layout, you can do that as well. So here I am on a page and you can see here on the top left, there's this icon and it says page settings when you hover over it. When you click on that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna reveal the page settings and this is where you can choose to have a transparent header if you wanted just on this one page or post and you can control the title, you can control the page layout, the content style, all those settings that I just showed you, you can control them on each individual page or post or if you have some special content like a lesson in LearnDash, you can do it that way as well. Now there's other things that should go without saying and this means that it should be a very fast theme, that means no jQuery built into it. This theme is lightning quick. It ranks up there with all the fastest themes that we've come to know and love and expect inside of a theme. Next is kind of a personal gripe. I hate those themes that might be really generous in the features, but then you have to deal with all this advertising and weird changing of the WordPress admin experience and they're constantly trying to get you to buy the pro version. A theme I don't think needs to have that in there and I think it does more of a discredit to the theme than it does to uh, make someone want to buy it because you're giving a bad user experience. So when I see themes that have all this advertising and stuff like that, it's an instant no. Now when you add all of these features up together, it has a, a what I think is pretty much the perfect WordPress theme. It's fast, it's full of features, it's full of flexibility, and it's very lightweight. It's really just the perfect combination. So I think I found pretty much the perfect WordPress theme. It's backed by a company that has their themes and plugins on hundreds of thousands of websites. They've been in the WordPress community making products for many years and they're highly respected. So if you go over to the WordPress theme directory or inside your your website and go to themes add new you're unfortunately not going to be able to find this theme because it takes about six months or so when you ask to have your theme included for actually to be included in this wordpress theme directory so unfortunately you're not going to be able to get it that way just yet soon in the future as soon as that process is over with you will be able to but here's how you can get it now and i've been using this on three websites already and i've been using it for the last month and a half it's a solid and awesome theme. Open up your web browser, open up a new tab, enter in wpcrafter.com slash cadencewp, click on enter. What's gonna do? It's gonna trigger the download automatically to your computer. And here's just some brief instructions on how to add it to your website. And also when you're here, you can click right here on About Us and you can learn a little bit more about the company. They're based out of Montana and they already have one of the most popular Gutenberg block plugins for WordPress. That's also free. They also have the one of the most, I think it's the most popular WooCommerce email customizer plugin. It's free. I've been meaning to do a video on that for the last few months because it's just that good. So now you have the theme and the next question is what the heck do you do with it? Well, I'm gonna link down below in the video description a full tutorial. It's here on YouTube, so it's a full tutorial on how to install the theme and use it and get the most out of it. All of the how to make a website tutorials that I'm going to be doing moving forward, I'm gonna be using this theme because after using it for the last month and a half, I just think it delivers the best user experience out of any theme that I've tried. And there's nothing to buy. I know I put the link that was a short link tied to my website. I'll put the direct link down below in the video description. 
The only reason I put the short link is in case the direct download link changes in the future, I can update it in one place and I don't have to remember every single YouTube video that I put the link on. Also in that video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to switch from the theme that you're using to this theme if you chose to use it. So that's all that I have for you in this video. If you do me a favor, click the thumbs up. It's going to help me in the YouTube algorithm. If you have a question about this theme, feel free to ask me down below. I'll be glad to answer that. That's all that I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one.